Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Teal Leaf Adventuring Company. My name is Leek the DM, and it's my job to kill everybody. Welcome back to our Build a Boss fundraising campaign for Same You. We are right smack dab in the middle of round two. We are going to pick things up right where we left off last week. We've got a couple of more exciting encounters built by our players, specifically to kill each other. Um, but before we get to that, we're going to talk about why we're all here, what we're all about, um, and uh, talk about how far we've come so far, because this is really, really awesome. Um, if you, if this is your first time joining us, or if you're following on YouTube or um, the Twitch VODs, um, Same You is a really, really amazing foundation, charity foundation that we've been supporting for a couple years now. Um, they fund support research therapies for people who have suffered and survived from um, traumatic brain injuries. Um, they do really, really important work, and they have worked with us to have this um, For the Throne streaming competition, quote-unquote. Um, friendly competition, we'll call it. Um, so they're inviting streamers of all sizes, shapes, and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> uh, any type of gamer, any type of streamer, doesn't have to be D and D, doesn't have to be video games. It can be art, it can be music, it can be anything um, to fundraise for them. They have a really, really nifty guide on how to get started streaming, how to get started on fundraising, and quite honestly, um, it, with Tiltify and the way that everything's integrated, it's been pretty, pretty uh, intuitive. Um, so. We here at the Tealeaf Adventure Company are making our claim for that throne so far. I haven't checked. I believe we're still in first place. Is that is that can, maybe someone in the chat confirm? I think we're we're doing pretty good. Um, we are at one thousand five hundred dollars officially donated thanks to all of your amazing contributions. Um, our our long term goal for the till the end of September is three thousand. So we're halfway there. We're right on pace. Um. You guys have been sincerely, truly incredible in all of everyone that's helped out in making this possible, everyone who has donated, everyone who's participated. It's been a blast so far, and I'm excited to, to keep this ball rolling. Um, so I want to talk about um, a few things related to that, and then uh, we'll get started with our encounters. Um, first and foremost, as far as stretch goals left, we have officially unlocked... Uh, Mr. Melvin's spooky Call of Cthulhu campaign, so we're really looking forward to that. Something other than D&D &D on here, but still in that tabletop uh, realm, and someone's beautiful face other than mine in the DM seat with a different game. It's going to be awesome. Uh, mine and Wee-Wee's, I should say. Um, at $2,000, so another $500 to go before that next goal, me and Mr. Wee-Wee are going to be doing a cooking stream, cooking a D&D-themed meal for a lot of our homies here in the local area. Um, so that's going to be really fun. We've never done anything like that before, and I, I consider both of us of a culinary sort, so it'll be it'll be interesting. We can... Glad one of us does, because I don't. Oh, come on, oh, you're fantastic. I was referring to you. Um, let's see, at 2,500, um, which would officially put us mo above our earnings of last year. 2,500, we're going to do our hot tub stream. Don't know how, don't know when, don't know, don't know what's going to take. We're going to make it happen. It'll, it'll happen. Hot tub stream. And then if we do reach that big old $3,000 goal, which again is, is our long-term stretch, um, we, we and I have vowed to get um, tack related tattoos, potentially matching tattoos, um, influenced by by our community. Well, well, everything has to be approved. Obviously, we don't want anything something tasteful, something pretty, something meaningful. But it's it's gonna be special because I really enjoyed the the first one from last year. So something something of that genre would be really, really cool to do. Um, so. We've done, we're in the middle of round two, so we're going to have a third round of this sort of stuff. Um, but the big one, um, we've got, counting tonight, we've got tonight, we've got one more Thursday, and then we have two additional streams. Um, this Saturday is the big one. This is uh, something that Mr. WeeWoo has really championed and helped put together and, and really made happen, made possible. Um, Mr. WeeWoo, do you want to talk about it or do you want me to? <laughs> I'll take that as a... <laughs> uh, uh, you can talk about it. All right. <laughs> um, we're going to be doing our first ever live event stream. 
out in the real world, um, not in our cozy homes behind our computers, at um, Urban Food Brood in Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, it's going to be starting from at 3 p.m. until 5, 5.30 or so. Um, and so please, 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 if you're in the area, come say hi, come support us. They have amazing food, amazing drinks. Um, even if you don't like coffee like me, there, there's still amazing cocktails and espresso martinis and all sorts of really, really good treats. Um, they've given us the amazing opportunity to play Dungeons and Dragons live in their space at their amazing table. Um, and they're supporting us by donating a, a, a portion of the proceeds earned during that time frame to our Tiltify page for Same You, um, which is really, really awesome, really incredible. Um, so we're really excited for this, a little bit nervous. Um, it's going to be the first time we'll figure it out. Um, we've got amazing people behind the scenes making it happen. We've got a lot of people volunteering to uh, do raffles. To, uh, we have people playing in person, people flying out from across the country to come play with us. Uh, it's going to be really, really awesome, really incredible. And we hope it's uh, an amazing turnout. Um, it's uh, it's going to be really, really great. Um, uh, again, I'm a little nervous, a little excited. Um, we've also got merch that you can buy in support of that. All that's going to be donated too. So I think we're going to have a lot of cumulative um, buildup. Um, and we'll have that grand total uh, grand total of all of our donations from the merch, from uh, the Natural One Counter, from uh, Urban Food Brood, all on uh, our last wrap-up stream is going to be Sunday the 29th. Um, people are just going to be kind of hanging out. We'll be talking about the events, the highlights, the, the laughs, the cries, uh, probably a little bit of drinking, a little bit of painting. It's going to be a really, really good time. Um, so definitely Sunday the 29th is, excuse me, another one to mark down on your calendar there. Um, and that'll be, we'll, we'll kind of send it off and wrap things up and put a nice bow on it and, uh, see how far we can go. Um, so again, quick, quick rundown. Uh, we've got tonight, we've got Saturday, we've got next Thursday and we've got the 29th. So four more streams counting tonight or three more streams after tonight to, uh, continue to be awesome and raise money for same you. Um, as always, I will stress if you, um, are so inclined, please feel free to check out same you's website, same you.org. Um, They've got a lot of really, really amazing information. They're very transparent with exactly what their money is going to. Uh, they do a lot of different types of work um, and a lot of different types of support and research. Um, they have testimonials on their website about people who have been impacted by um, traumatic brain injuries as, and then people who have found SAMU and the, the help that they've received. Um, really, really important and powerful stuff for an issue that is um, way too common, unfortunately, and not talked about enough. So. Definitely, um, you know, if you're on your coffee break at work or something, spend 10 minutes just poke around on that website because uh, you'll learn some stuff. And it's, again, really, really, really great work that they're doing. And we're happy to be supporting them. Alrighty. Are we ready to continue round two of Build-A-Boss? Uh, so last Thursday, we went through our encounters designed by teams A, or sorry, teams A and teams B. They were fighting, designed by other teams trying to kill them. Uh, and as a reminder, we have changed our um, donation incentives for these this round two. Uh, so instead of creating monsters to kill the party, you guys are now donating money to buff the party, heal the party, and, and help them fight cool stuff. So as always, we've still got $10 for the AAA, Triple R to make things wild, chaotic, and crazy. If you want to target some baddies, uh, you can enlarge the party up to three times, giving them a little bit of extra damage. You can give them extra attacks. You can give them wild magic surges. You can give them short rest, long rest, and of course, fart buckle the goblin hero, uh, joining the fight on their side. Um, so, with all of that in mind, get your donating hands ready, and players, are we ready to dive right into it? Hell yeah! Ready to draw swords. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Team C, last time, you had, in round one, you created an encounter to kill Team D. This time, Team D has created an encounter to kill you. They wish. 
<laughs> Let's see. This one's gonna be fun. So, um, you guys should be all be able to see this now. I think I moved you guys over. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Stream a little bit behind. Maybe. Oh, oh I uh, I didn't rejoin as player. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'll be in, in a um, second. You guys might recognize this beautiful son of a bitch right here as the one, the only, Strahd von Zarovich. Good evening. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, Team T has gone all out with uh, picking a boss fight for you guys. So, without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and click on our tokens and then uh, join the initiative here. start rolling my initiatives all right team stay liquid fill the gaps <laughs> <laughs> uh again all my roles are going to be done in public for transparency's sake because i'm an unbiased referee in all of this so okie dokie any donations coming in first before we uh get this party started and i hit that sort button Going once, going twice. Alrighty, then we'll take them as they come in. I've got up here on my other monitor, so I will try to handle them as best as I can in real time. That being said, uh, at the start of the initiative, um, okay, I do want to clarify first, um, Rod was an interesting choice of a stat block. Um, technically, they did not expend their full XP budget, and because of that, Strahd has a lot of environmental factors in the actual um, module that don't really apply if he's not in Ravenloft. So I compromised with Team D, and this is sort of a hybrid, sort of layer action, not quite layer action type thing. Um, so they're gonna get the they're gonna get as much of a bang for their buck for Strahd as they possibly can here. So um, starting off with six swarms of bats. Um, so these bats have a fly speed of 30 feet. Um, so we've got six of them. We're going to move right on in and we are going to dash right on up. And this one's going to hold rank right there. Uh, that is going to be their entire turn. So that'll bring us to Cali from the Valley. Alrighty. Um... Bonus action, we will start off with a good old rage. Getting pissed off, I like to see it. Uh, I do actually have... Hmm. Nah, fuck it. Alright. We're... I'm gonna hope everybody else has this. We're gonna go straight through these beds. So right, they can take attacks of opportunity. All right. So that's going to be two attacks of opportunity, looks like? Yeah. Okay. So two attacks of opportunity. They are above half of their HP. Um, the first one is a 22 for eight, have to four. Okay. The second one is a 16. I believe that's a miss. That'll be a miss. Okay. All right. We're going to stop here, and then, um, I am, <laughs> we're going to try it, we're going to try it again this week and see what happens. I'm going to throw out a rust bag of tricks. Okay. And see what we're pulling out here. Okay. Four. We got a goat. A goat? We got a goat. We got the goat. Okay. We got a goat. Not the giant goat, but we got a goat. Just the regular goat. Okay. And we're going to put him right up against, uh, this bat. Okay. Actually, here, I think I throw it 15 feet. Okay. So we it. have our first donation of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Melvin, thank you for the $10 donation. We're going to uh, trial the fire the triple A, triple R on Strahd. Oh boy. Okay. Let's roll ourselves a D100. A 31 on Strahd himself. Let's see. 
the creature's health doubles. Oh, that is nasty. All right, Strahd is going from 144 to 288 health. That is a doozy. Okay. Um, I'll, let me see if I can give control of the goat to you, Jamilio. Okay. Uh, should be right at the top of your journal now, so you should be able to see and control the goat. Yep, got him. And uh, my donation should be coming through in a second. All right, yeah, ten dollars for Jay Miller to file the triple A triple R on the goat. Love to see it. Okay. Um, we'll get another another roll right there. One D one hundred. Ooh, that's a hundred. What is a hundred? I don't even remember that's, what I put. That's got to be a good one. That's got to be a good okay. one. Okay. The ray gun misfires. Roll an additional three times on this table. The monster games all three effects simultaneously. This goat is about to be the goat. Okay. I hope. Oh, first one's a 91. <laughs> oh, shit. The creature gains the benefits of all magical items being worn or carried within five feet of it. No, as long as you're adjacent to the goat, the goat gets all of your magic items. Uh, oh. Okay, so that we need to mark with um, maybe this gauntlet, like a like a. Holy magic shit! Yeah. <laughs> okay, not round two is a sixty-five. The creature may use its reaction to redirect an attack that misses it to a different creature within five feet. So it's got like the drunken master thing. Uh -huh. um, how are we going to mark that? Maybe the target. Okay. Okay. And then the last one, you guys are going to have to help me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm writing. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'm going to copy and paste them because this is a lot okay, to go over. Good. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to do that, I'll help. I'll, I'll take care of Cody. Okay. So that's 91. Okay. This is 65. And then our last one is 13. This thing's going to be a tank. The creature gains advantage on all saving throws. <laughs> okay. Okay. Agent Goaty Banks. I love it. As as a question of reference, yes. Um, does the goat gain the benefits of artifact items as well because they're magical items? It says all magical items being worn or carried. Cool. <laughs> Winnable. <laughs> the goat Winnable. did not use Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. okay. Um. <laughs> so, Callie, I think it, that was your turn, right? That was my turn. Do we want the goat to act after me, or do we want the goat to roll a separate initiative? Does it say on your specific magic item? It does not say on the magic item. We'll say it goes right after you, then, just because it's okay. part of you. Um, oh my god, we got a $10 donation from Pangy Rage, firing the AAA triple R on the goat again. Yeah! Okay, let's go. We're going to stack the goat. Please uh, give him more than 4 HP. A 15... <laughs> This is interesting. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. A 15. The creature ignites in magical flames. Enemies that begin their train within five feet of the creature or who hit the creature with a melee attack take 1d10 fire damage. It's an emulating goat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and take it away with the goat. All right. Um... Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna just, uh, he's not around anybody right now, so I am going to just have him, uh, ram attack this, uh, swarm of bats. Go for it. And 11 is a miss. Alright. And none of his, uh, benefits help with that right now, correct? No. No. Okay. That's all, that's all Cody McCoat's got. Okay. We'll get Alrighty, guy. is that it for your turn? That, that is that is Cody McGoat's turn. All right, we're gonna move on to Sano. 
Hi, goat. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are best friends now. I'm defending this goat with my life. <laughs> um, he gains all my magical item benefits. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he has Death's Burden, Aegis Shield, uh... What else do I have? Oh, and the uh, the armor that I have too, which is hilarious. The armor doesn't help with much, but the the sword and the uh, you can dispel things now. That's cool. That is cool. <laughs> I can cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a. Oh, they're bats. It's it's not worth me casting that many kind of spells like that. So. They did me dirty with this one. I see what they were trying to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and Eldritch Slash through these three right in front of me. Okay. Try and help out this goat. So the kind of... Be, uh... if, I, if, I go, if I go from this corner to this corner, I hit all three. Yep. It's all three. Okay, go for it. So, bam. 18 will hit for 10 on all of them. All right. And then... Bonus action? Do I have it? Actually. Uh, is that gonna help me? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold. We'll, we'll end my turn there. No bonus action for now. Alrighty. That <laughs> is going to bring us to the man himself. Strahd von Zarovich. Um, Strahd is going to gain access to all three of his legendary actions. And at the start of the first round of combat, he is going to activate his Children of the Night ability. Um, we're going to say, I'm going to consider this outdoors. Uh, so he's going to get 3d6 wolves joining the fight in 1d6 rounds. Um, so we're going to roll 3d6. We're going to... 11 wolves are going to join the fight in one round. So, in one round on Strahd's... At the beginning of Strahd's next turn, 11 wolves join the fight under his command. Okay. Um, that was his action. Uh, he is content where he is for now. He's going to back up a smidge. And he's going to pass to Diego. Oh, what a terrible wizard. I don't even have AoE. Um, well, let's go about 20. I think it's 20, yeah. 15, 20. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to shoot a firebolt at one of the bats. Alrighty, which one are you trying to hit? Uh, we'll do top one right there. Okay, a single little point of fire damage there. That's that. Hey, every point counts. That counts. We take it. We take it. We take those. And I think that will do that. Alrighty, that's gonna bring us to the start of round two. Then I'm gonna switch up the song. Um, I actually like this idea. I had this idea um, after last week, just because I was getting. I couldn't figure out how to make the music loop. So at the every round of initiative, I'm just going to change the song up. That way it keeps it fresh. Okay, Swarm of Vats times. Um, we're going to swarm it up here. Um, we're going to have these two go after Diego. These two go after Sano. And these two go after Cali. So against Diego, um, one of them is at half of its hit points or less so the first weakened swarm is going to swing out at you uh for a 19 that it's 19 is going to hit you for three uh and then the uh healthier swarm is going to attack for a crit that's 10 points of piercing for a total of 13 on you yeah i'm down <laughs> okay diego goes down the low level wizard life saturday is going to be interesting um, we're going to have two attacks on Sano coming at you. 
Both of these are still above half health. So the first one is going to be a 14 on Sano. That's a miss. Second one is going to be double natty ones. That is two natural ones for Sam Yu. That's 40 bucks right there. All right, we mark those down. Keeping tally, guys. Keeping tally. <laughs> oh, we have um, an anonymous donation of $20. We have a wild magic surge for Diego. And a triple A, triple R for one of the wolves coming in. Okay, so we will get to the wolves when they come in. I think that's fair. Uh, but Diego, you're going to have wild magic. So whenever you cast, you're going to roll on the wild magic table. We're going to give you a yellow dot to remind you and to remind me. And I'm sure chat will remind us as well. There we go. All righty. Oh, that was Pengu Rage. Thank you, Pengu Rage. Okay, we appreciate you. Um, we've got, uh, so that was two misses on Thano. Now we've got two more attacks on Kali from these swarms of bats. We've got an 11 is a miss, and a 19 is going to be two points of damage halved to All right, one. I am going to see if I can deflect it. That gets me to a 20 AC, so no damage there. So no damage, okay. Very nice, very nice. Alrighty, that's it for my swarms of bats. That's going to bring us to Cali. Alright, um, we're, I guess, for now, going to go after these boys. Okay. So let's, um, ba -ba -ba. fuck it, we're going to go reckless, because why not? Okay. 24. 24 will hit. Uh, which one are you attacking? Uh, I'll do the one with the lesser HP first. They are both equal HP. Then this one. Okay, the one above you. 24 is going to hit. That's 14 points of piercing. Plus 2 from the rage. Um, however, they do have resistance to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage, even if it is magical. So that is going to be halved from 14 to 7. Plus 2 is 9. Plus 6 poison is 4. 15 damage. Okay. Alright. Uh, second attack. That is a crit. That is a crit, baby, and that's going to put these bats in the dirt. Alright. Dropping rage is a free action? I believe you can do it at any time as a free action, yes. All right, I am going to drop my rage at this point, and I am going to healing word at second level on Diego. Okay. For twelve. Alrighty, twelve health back to Diego. Went from zero to max health instantly. Oh, oh yeah. All right. That's what we're talking about. All right, that's a and nice that's gonna be my turn. Alrighty. Strahd is going to hold on to them legendary actions. Um, Goaty McGoat's turn. The goats. Yes, the goat. How could I forget? Alright. Um, <laughs> Sato, help me out here. What, the, what are your magic items? Alright. So, uh, we have... Uh, let's see here. We have... Hold on. <laughs> well, let me put it this uh, way. What do you want Goaty to do since you are basically his magic item stash right now? <laughs> Right. Oh, uh, hold up, guys. We've got a $15 donation from Mr. Melvin. Uh, you guys are going to have one short rest token. You can choose yeah. to take a short rest hell at yeah. any point in the benefits. Love that. So, so that. Thank what you, Melvin. he gets, the only thing that he gets that would be anything good for him is the fact that uh, he can walk five feet faster. He can just cast Dispel Magic at a third level once per day. He can use a Smite with any attack and be radiant or necrotic and he can cast eldritch blast as a cantrip um uh, okay um <laughs> what about eldritch slash that's um, part of your magic yes. items it is it is um eldritch also slash. luke i need <laughs> this guy to we need to roll 1d10 damage because he started his turn within five feet of goaty so you he's got three right. fire damage three fire damage nice 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 I am. What is what is the range on Eldritch Slash? Thirty feet. Can I get the the two attacking Diego? 
Would that work? Draw a line, if you can draw a line through them. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, fair by Easily. me. All right. What, what, it, what is... I'm just going to roll a d20. I don't know what the hell the goat's... That's a miss. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, uh, that's uh, that's uh, Goaty's turn. All right, he's Actually, vibing. wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. We are going to move one space more, so that way he is now adjacent to both of those guys. Smart, smart. Okie dokie. Oh, no, you might need to move over one space. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, that's it. All righty. That's going to bring us to Sano. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Not terribly afraid of anything, so I'm going to go ahead and take one five foot step and go ahead and take the attack of opportunity. Okay. The swarm of bats is still at full health. It's going to make a bite. It is a crit for nice. 11. Okay. Not a problem. Let's see here. I'll move one more five foot step around. And we'll also Eldritch Slash through these two again. Okay. We'll do it for real. I'm going to show the goat how, how it works. <laughs> the training montage. Training montage. 22 hits for seven points of splashing damage. Okay. Or that's force damage, technically. Um. All right, you're taking out most of the bats here, but the swarms are still up, though. Um, and then, I believe it's within... Yes. So, Luke, the other uh, bat swarm that mm -hmm. is next to Callie is yes. being cursed. Uh, Hexblade's curse? Hexblade's curse. Okay. Sounds good. And that's my bonus action movement and action. Alrighty, that's going to bring us to Strahd. At the start of Strahd's turn, 11 wolves are going to appear. Oh boy. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Um, and one of them gets a triple A, triple R, uh, from Pengi Rage's donation. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Uh, 32 on the triple A, triple R is, ooh, the creature's attacks are considered critical as on a 19 or 20. He's a champion wolf. Um, I'm going to mark the champion wolf with, uh, an orange dot because that seems fitting. Um, okay, so the wolves, the wolves are going to go after Strahd, so Strahd is going to go, and I'm going to make this encounter even more painful for myself. Um, Strahd is going to go ahead and spend his fifth level spell slot to cast Animate Objects. Um, we are going to create, um, let's see up to 10 non-magical objects within range. Uh, so we're going to create 10 tiny objects. I'm going to say there's probably 10 little volcanic rock pebble shards of obsidian floating around in this cave. I think that's a fair assessment. If not, he can grab some of the dead bats or something. He's going to get 10 tiny objects. Um, so I'm going to make this an object there. So we got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The little tiny objects there. Um, they do have a stat block for the tiny objects. Um, let me read the spell here real quick. Um, each target animates and becomes a creature under your control. As a bonus action, you can mentally command them as long as it's within 500 feet. Um, it looks like they roll their own initiatives. 
Luke regrets now casting that spell. I kind of do. It's a complicated spell. Um, they're going to roll their own initiative. They're going to roll 16. Um, we are on Strahd. Okay. So, he is now concentrating on tiny, animate tiny objects. He's got a swarm of wolves that are all under his command. The wolves are going to act after his turn. So the wolf pack is going to go. The wolves have a movement speed of 40 feet. So they are going to all dash into the fray here. 40 feet. Um... Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna dash into position. So I'm gonna just gonna get them here. This one's coming up here, just barely. This one, 40 feet puts you there. 40 feet puts you there. Okay, all the wolves are dashing to get into melee. That's gonna bring us the end of Strahd's turn. Um, actually, Strahd is going to move up 30 feet. He wants to get in on this. He wants to strike while the time is ripe. Um, so 30 feet, he's going to move up there. That's going to bring us to Diego. The champion beelines for me. What a bully behavior. <laughs> um, well, let's do a magic missile. Ooh, okay. Uh, we'll do that. I can do it at level two. Let me double check. Mm -hmm. Um, no, you're you are level two. You don't have second level spell slots. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay, I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, so we'll do it at level one. Mm -hmm. Um, bat one, bat two, and then we'll do champion wolf. Okay. All right, so four damage to bat one. Go ahead and roll another 1d4 plus one. Three damage to bat number two. And two damage to the champion wolf. Okay. And wild magic. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Wild magic surge. Thank you. Um, so go ahead and roll me 1d100. Where is that table? Almost nice. <laughs> you perceive the nearest creature as saying something hurtful about home. Oh, you're frightened of that creature. Uh, no, so... 68. You are frightened by the nearest creature until the end of your next turn. So the nearest creature, I will say, is probably the bat. So you are frightened of the bat until the end of your next turn. Okay. Um, I also have telekinesis, which if I attack something, it can be pushed. With magic missile, would it work for all three of those or no? I would say you can pick one of the three and it's your choice of the three. Definitely that champion wolf. He is terrifying. Okay, so you're going to push him back 10 feet? Does he get um, any sort of check? Straight saving throw, I want to say top of my head. Okay. That is a nine, so he fails. He gets pushed back five feet? Five feet, yep. Okay. Very nice. And I'll end the turn. Okay. That's going to bring us to the start of round three. We're going to change up the playlist here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll for fire damage with the two bats adjacent. Okay. Six fire damage to those two bats. Okay. This one is dead. And this one is alive, but just barely. Okay. Uh, okay, swarms of bats. Uh, this weak one up here. I'm gonna make a death pile because um, this weak one's gonna go after Diego. That's an 11 to hit. I think that's probably a miss. That's a miss. Okay, we've got another weak one on Sano. That's a crit on Sano for four points of piercing damage. Um, this one's going to fly over here and go after Sano. Uh, uh yeah, okay, I'm gonna let him do it. Okay. 
Sauna. He's still at full health, so this one is a natural one. That's 20 more bucks the same you, baby. All right. That's a miss. And then we've got one last swarm of bats on Callie here. Uh, that's going to be another natural one. Hell oh, yeah. man. Let's go. The more okay. creatures, the more nat ones. Honestly. <laughs> Okay, um, so that is it for the bat's turn. Uh, <laughs> that'll bring us to Callie. All right, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm okay. going to start up by raging again. Okay. I am going to move here. So that's going to be a bunch of attacks of opportunity. Uh, you cannot move through an enemy square. That is correct, actually. You're right, you're right. Um... You're going to have to fight your way out. Um, shit, that messes up what I wanted to do. All right, we're not going to do that then. Uh, I am going to open up my decanter of endless water. Ooh. I'm going to shout geyser, and I want to try to knock these, these guys here back 15 feet and hopefully off like angle it so it gets like off the cliff at least a couple of them okay it's a strength um, saving throw so that these two yeah okay so the wolves are gonna make a strength saving throw the first one's a four the second one's a 20 so the uh first one is going to fall um hard to gauge how tall that would be huh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's, call a million it, feet. let's call it 40 feet. I think 40 feet is a fair number. Um, so he's going to fall 40 feet. That's 46 if you want to roll that damage, Callie. Sure. 15 points of damage. Oh, yeah, he just falls to his death. Okay. Alright, that's action and bonus action. I only got that's one it. of them. Alright. Uh, yep. Then that's going to bring us to Sano. Goaty McGoat. Sorry, Goaty McGoat, yes. Um. <laughs> yeah, Goaty McGoat is going to try another Eldritch Slash, I think. Okay. That's an 18 plus... Plus whatever his attack bonus is on his ram attack. Three. Yeah. So that would be a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one to hit, and where's he shooting it? He's gonna he's gonna kinda Try to get the bats there. Yeah. Okay. I think he's gonna try to get those bats. Okay, go ahead and roll one D ten. Alrighty, so five points of damage. He's actually gonna kill that swarm. And get some damage there. We have a twenty-one dollar donation from KCMO. Thank you very much. We've got um, Fart Buckle to the rescue, as well <laughs> as uh, enlarge the party. Okay, <laughs> we're getting Fart Buckle out, boys. Um, Fart Buckle's gonna join the fight. <laughs> um, join extra strong. <laughs> gonna join right here. Um, <laughs> Let me get his character sheet and roll initiative for him here. All right, and then we're gonna enlarge the party so all of you guys are one size category bigger. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, and you add an extra 1d4 uh, to all of your weapon attacks and cantrips. Okay. Um, um that was... Yeah, let me just Allie's move. Right? Yeah. That was goat. That was the goats, yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna move the goat here. Okay. And that'll be his turn. Alrighty. Uh that's gonna bring us to Sano. It's never okay. not fun when Heart Buckle join. <laughs> <laughs> Heart Buckle Ho! Heart Buckle Ho. Um Alright. We are We are going for a four man slash. Yeah. One, well, two, four, three. Yeah. Four man four slash. Man, four man slash right here. And one of them is uh, the bats is going to take extra damage to get their hits because they are. Got my hex blade first. Correct. All right. 
right, let's go for it. Come on, big money. 24 is going to hit them all. Okay. Nine points on the wolves. It's going to be a total of 13 on the bat. Okay. They're all still standing, but still heavily wounded there. Nice shot. With the enlarge, um, would that also add that? Oh, yeah, I got to add 1d4. Yeah, that would be extra. Good good catch, good catch. Good catch. I think I totally forgot about it, too. <laughs> uh, 1d4, let's go. So three extra damage to everything. So the wolf dies. All the wolves die. Hell yeah. Uh, and the bats take an extra three. Okay. We are thinning the her the horde here, guys. Got to make my death pile up in the corner. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and then... I... Trying to think if there's a different bonus. I, I like I have spells, but the problem is, is most of them. Oh wait, am I? Dang it! I'm not next to him. Damn it! Oh, I wish. I've been so good. Um, yeah. All right, that's all I got. Okie dokie. Um, <sighs> so sad. Okay, that's gonna bring us to the tiny animated objects. Uh, the tiny animated objects have a fly speed of 30 feet. Um, 30 feet brings us there. Okay, we're going to go 30 feet here. He's going to command them to just attack. So 30 feet is going to put us there. There we go. Okay. They are hard to control. Uh, but none of them can attack just yet, but they are... All these tiny, sharp rocks are flying towards you guys. Uh, that's going to be their turn. That's going to bring us to Strahd's turn. Uh, Strahd has been kind of playing the background tactician here. He's going to take a bit of a more active role. Um, let's see. Strahd is going to move up 10 feet closer to you, Callie. Mm -hmm. He's just going to kind of charmingly look and catch your eye. He is going to use his charm ability against you. Um, you need to succeed on a DC 17 wisdom saving throw. Alright. Uh, where did my Callie sheep go? Oh. Oh, hey, oh I don't even need to fucking use it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Um So. He can there's no limit on how much he can do that. Um Really? It's not a once per day. Nope, but Callie's immune to it. Yep. Um you are immune to it for the next 24 hours. Got so, it. Okay. Okay. That is Strahd's full turn. He uses bonus action to command the animated object. Um, that's going to be a pass to Diego. Oh, okay. We'll do a little firebolt to the bat in front of me, I think. All right. You're going to be at disadvantage because you're in melee. Just so you know. Yeah. So a seven's gonna miss that bat, unfortunately. Well, gave it all a good, good Christian try, everyone. That's all I got. Alrighty. Does, does it have uh, to hit to trigger wild magic search? Technically, it? technically, no. He's casting a spell. Um, wild magic surges are spells of first level or higher, though. That's gotcha. actually written. Yeah. So cantrips do not trigger it. Well, gave it all a good. Yeah. Alrighty, that's gonna bring us to Fartbuckle the Goblin here. Uh, Fartbuckle has no fucking idea what's going on, so he's gonna charge right in. Um, he's gonna okay, go for a fucking <laughs> plunging attack on the bats, helping out his friend Diego here. Uh, Fartbuckle is going to make two short sword attacks. 
Uh, we've got an 11 and a 17. The 11 misses, but the 17 is going to hit for four points of damage on the bats. Very nice, very nice. That'll bring us to the start of round four. We're going to change up the tune. Okay, so that bat is going to take seven points of fire damage. Yeah, because he's next to the goat. And the wolf. Um, wolf doesn't take it till the start of his turn, though. Yeah. Oh, start of his turn. Start. Of his turn. Um, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Uh, Swarms of bats are going to go. This one is going still to... Still alive. Damn. He's still alive. Yeah, he's not taking much damage. Um... I feel like it makes sense for vampire bats to go after livestock. I'm not targeting the goat. I'm just playing the stat block. It's fine. Gonna... You're fine. Yeah. Um, he is going to attack the goat with half of his HP or less. That's an 11 to hit. For one point of piercing damage. Okay. So how do we play this with the goat? Because technically he gets Sano's armor. Because it's considered a magic item. So does that increase his AC? If the armor uh, is like plus one armor, he would get plus one to his AC. It, it is plus one armor. Yeah. It is considered plus one armor. Um, mm -hmm. And he can add his full dexterity to his modifier. No. Oh, okay. wait. Uh, hold on. In addition, you gain damage threshold equal to constitution modifier plus your proficiency bonus. Any damage taken less than or equal to that, they take zero damage. So go take zero damage. But take zero damage? <laughs> Hell yeah. Go take zero damage. Okay. Um, this bat storm right here is going to attack you, Sano. Okay. <laughs> That's an 11. That's a miss. And then we've got okay. one on Callie still. And this one is less than half health. So, uh, Callie, that's a 13. That's a miss. Yes. Actually, did you attack? No, you didn't attack. Right no, close. I did not. Okay, cool. Okay, that's it for the bats. That's going to bring us to Callie. Okay. What the fuck do I want to do here? Um, I cleared the way just in case. <laughs> <laughs> we're I don't know what's better if I just attack or I try to knock stuff off the cliff um I'm gonna take the geyser or uh, the thing again shout geyser and I'm gonna go in this direction this time so I'm gonna hit this wolf and these three magical objects and they're all gonna have okay. to make DC 13 strength saving throws okay so you know the tiny objects are considered hovering so they, they would not fall they get knocked prone if they fail they get yeah. knocked prone and pushed are they can they get knocked prone have hover they are actually immune to the bro yeah that is correct yeah shit all right well well you knowing that Callie is, knowing is intelligent would you like to adjust your plan yes i would okay all right um hmm. at that point then i'm just going to uh start fuck i'm just gonna start attacking okay. um All right, I guess we start off. You know, the bats really don't scare me. I'm going to start. I'm um, going to go with the wolf down here. Okay. I am not attacking recklessly. There's way too many guys on me for that. 26, that's a kill on that wolf. Okay. Man, I bet uh, Kelly's second. never said that before. Hey, <laughs> 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 Don't make her write another novel, Weeboo. Um, <laughs> uh, next one, I'll go for the one right above him. 25, that's another kill shot. All right. <laughs> Bonus action. I am going to inspire the goat. <laughs> inspire the goat, okay. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Goaty McGoat's turn. Oh my god, alright, we've got a $20 donation from Pangy Rage a few seconds ago. Two more AAA triple R's. We've got another on a wolf and another on the goat. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go here. The goat? Uh or the wolf is gonna be a, a one. What is 
a one. The creature gains a flying speed of 60 feet as well as the flyby feature. Interesting. Oh. So this wolf can fly. Uh, where's a wing? Uh, and then for the goat is a 95. Good numbers tonight. Um, the goat 95. Oh God. Oh, that's a oh that's no! You made guys. it there. The goat gains the ability to speak. <laughs> oh, no, that was a terrible pun. All creatures within earshot <laughs> must succeed on a DC 20 Wisdom saving throw or fall prone, laughing, and be incapacitated until they take damage. Oh my God! Okay, this is gonna be a lot of fucking rolls. Holy shit! Okay, so let's start with Diego. Go ahead and roll Wisdom saving throw. The DC is 20. All right, Diego, you are ruffling. There we go. Try. We're gonna roll for fart buckle, wisdom saving throw. And no rush. I think I'm also not frightened anymore. I think that was just for one round. Correct. I can remove that. Thank you. No rush though. Um, let's see the bats. Um, wisdom saving throw. The bats are laughing. Question mark. Um, let's go for Sano. Sure. Yep. You are on the ground laughing. Sano, could you use shield to get a plus five? That's the AC. <laughs> uh, we've got two wolves. Also laughing. One of them's the champion wolf. Okay, they're all laughing. Uh, these bats are... Oh, these bats are good! These bats are not laughing. Um, the objects, two, four, six, eight, ten objects, um, they get minus four to the wisdom saving throws. So... There's no way they can make it, then. Yeah, there's physically no way they can make it unless they get a crit. So I'm just going to roll 10d20. Two of them, two of them are, are not. Look though. at those numbers. Damn, all above 10. Right, damn. That's ridiculous. Um, let's see. It's number four and five. So these ones in the back, I'm just going to highlight them in blue for now. These ones are still attacking. Uh, we've got three more wolves. Wisdom saving throws. Nope, all of them are laughing. We've got another set of bats also laughing. Um, Callie, go ahead and make me yours. No, I'm using my ability to... Using your legendary resistance? Yeah. Okay. I can't and make a save. <laughs> so. Rod is going to make his wisdom saving throw is a crit. Okay, so everybody with a blue dot is still in the fight. That'll be, that'll be how we keep track of this. Oh, wait. Goaty McGoat. No, the goat doesn't have to make it because the goat's the one telling you. Oh, because the, the goat's the one that did it. Okay. Yeah. Goat doesn't have to. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that just uh, simplified combat significantly for us. Okay. Um, Callie, did you, you just take it, taking your turn, right? Yeah. Um, I've just taken my turn. It's the goat's turn. It's the goat's turn. What was the All pun? right. Oh, God. I need a pun for a goat. I'm gonna Google it while you take your turn. All right, uh, we're gonna th throw up another uh, Eldritch Slayish. It's a 22 to hit. I got one, I got one. So the goat says, my son told a terrible pun the yes yesterday. And afterwards he said, you gotta be kidding me. It's a good thing I'm already dead. I wish I was dead. <laughs> good thing you did, we did say it was terrible. It was. <laughs> okay. Um, so what is... I, I saw the Eldritch Slash. I didn't see where it's going. It's going uh, here. Okay. So that'll hit for three points of damage on the wolf who's joining the fight. Uh, the 
Bat is joining the fight, and he's taking three. And then this animated object is taking three and joining the fight. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be Goaty's turn. Alrighty, solid turn there, Stano. You are on the ground laughing uncontrollably. Yep. You're incapacitated. Animated yep. objects. We have three that can still attack. So this one's going to fly around there. This one's going to fly over here. This one's going to fly right there. Um, we've got three attacks on Callie. Uh, first one's a natural one. That's 20 more bucks for same you. Second one is a 13. That's a miss. And the last one is an 18. I will use my reaction to increase that, hopefully. Okay, we're good. No okay. damage. Three misses from the animated objects. That's going to bring us to Straw. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Straw's going to go. He's within 30 feet. Um, We're going to start doing some damage here. Um, so we've used that spell slot. Hmm. We're still concentrating on animate objects. Let's go for a third level blight on Cali. Fuck it. Alright. Cali, make me a constitution saving throw. DC's 18. Kind of a shit damage roll. Uh, 17 is going to fail. That's going to be 27 points of necrotic damage on you. Uh, let me double check something. I want to say I have resistance to necrotic. Where is it? Oh, I do not. Okay, full 27. I think that was from the Cloak of Shadows, which you gave to Shadow. Yeah, I just couldn't remember if it was that one, because I have, like, three other resistances from this third cloak. Yeah. Alrighty, that's it for Strahd. Let me mark that spell slot. Um, that's going to bring us to Diego. He laugh. He laugh. He laugh. Yeah, I just laugh. Boblin also laugh. He laugh. Swarm of Beth. Um, Takes 1d10 fire. Oh, shit, yeah. One of them yeah. does, yeah. Also, round five, switching the music. I like this. I like my system. <laughs> All right. Nine points of damage to those bats. Those bats are gone. See you later. Um, these bats, however, are still up. It's going to go after the goat. Um, Swarm of bats on the goat is a miss. Um, Swarm of I bat am... Shit, I can't... Actually, I am going to redirect it. Oh. Into Sano. Hopes so, that I can wake him up. Oh yeah, so it would automatically would it automatically hit? Yeah, because the, yeah, the, the drunken master automatically hits. So Sano, yeah. you're gonna take three points of piercing damage, but you are woken up. Sweet. I'm back Clever. up. Clever. That was go. smart. You're a smarty pants <laughs> game. Oh, and because of my armor I take no damage. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was that was... with that goat. Yeah, go go! <laughs> <With the goat. laughs> go go! Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, we've got one swarm of bats here left. Is gonna attack Callie. Uh, it's a miss. That's gonna bring us to Callie and the goat. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to start chipping away at the guys that are still up. So I guess first on the bat. Okay. I, uh, I will actually. Shit. Do I want to use this? Yes, I do. All right, I'm going to move first. So I'm going to take three opportunity attacks, two from the animated objects and one from the bat. Okay, one from the bat is going to be a 15. That's a miss. Animated objects. 22 for 4. Okay, I do have force. 
uh, resistance from the cloak, so that'll be two. Yep. Okay, and the other one will be a miss. God, Ava's cloak is such a strong item, huh? Yeah, it really is. I should go looking for more of those Ava's items. Oh, you know. Um, All right. You're not my supervisor. No, I'm just DM. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to line these boys up, and with my first attack, I am going to use a lightning breath on them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just right down the row at the tiny objects? Right down the row at the tiny objects, since they're all awake. Okay, uh, dexterity saving throw? One, two, three. Uh, so the first one fails, is gonna take nine. The second one passes, will take five. And the last one fails, will take nine. That actually dies. No. Nice. All right. And then, uh, second attack. Thank you, Fitzbands. Um, I'm just gonna take a swing at the animated object in front of me. Okay. 15 is a hit and a kill. All right. All right, and then I am going to stay where I am. I dig it, I dig it. Sano, you're up. You're nope, awake. Oh, buddy McGoat. Sorry, I keep forgetting uh, the goat. Um. <laughs> I am gonna go after... I can't really... I keep forgetting the wolves turns after Strahd. I had one wolf attack, but I'll say he missed. That's fine. Alright, uh, we're gonna do another El... Oh, I don't want to really pick those guys up. Uh, We'll do an Eldritch Slash this way, so it'll go after... And hit the bat and the wolf that's awake. Okay, that would also hit Callie, by the way, too. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Uh, and not gonna hit anyway. That's a miss. It's a miss. I don't think that's worth dumping an inspo. Um, that's the goat's turn. Okay, dokey. Now it's Thanos' turn. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Word of Radiance. So they have to make a dex 15 save, the bats and the wolf in front of me. Okay, the bats, dexterity saving throw is gonna be a fail, and the wolf is a success. So the wolf takes no damage, but the bats are going to take 2d6 uh, plus 1d4. Yes. 2d6. Nine points of damage on the bats, and they are donezo. Alright. Uh, let's see here. I will go ahead and take a five foot step here <coughs> actually no, I'm gonna come around this way actually okay and that's gonna be it for me go to you loses your power then FYI yeah okay just for the moment <laughs> so I'm good alrighty that's going to bring us to the animated objects, of which there is a single one at the moment. Uh, it's going to fly in and try to ram right into you, Callie. Uh, it's 24 for 4. And it reduced to 2. Yep. Got it. The rest are sleeping. That's going to bring us to Strahd and the wolves. Um, now the wolf takes one 10 fire damage. Mm. Yes, the wolf's gonna burn. Six, he's still up. All right, speaking of wolves, we're gonna take his action first. The wolf is gonna go after the goat with a bite. 13 for five. Bye, goat. Did you redirect it to me, though? I can't, because it's not a miss. Oh, uh, okay, it's one miss, gotcha. Goodbye, goat. I'm that guy. Um, Rod is 
Hmm. Let's see. You know what? It worked once, it'll work twice. We're gonna do another fourth level blight on Callie. Nat 20 on the con save, that'll half that damage to 15 points of necrotic damage. Alrighty, chipping away there. That is his turn. Uh, all of the wolves that acted, all the wolves that can act have acted, so that'll bring us to Diego. Diego, you are still on the ground laughing. Fartbuckle is still on the ground laughing. Quick question. If yeah. we use that short rest, would that clear the laughing? It would not. You would get the healing benefits, but it would not clear the debuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Go team, go. I believe All in you. Right. Not laughing. The <laughs> bats turns. So we're gonna switch up the music again. Okay. Uh, we've got one swarm of bats left. Who is awake? He's gonna fly right in and go after Callie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's an eleven. That's a miss. That brings us to Callie. All right. We are. We're gonna go after the bat. Okay. 29. Yeah, that's a kill. All right. And that's the last of the bats, I think, right? I Thank heal, God. and there's now a specter in its place. Oh. Okay. You can drag that onto the map yourself, right? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. All right. And I have to roll its initiative. Second attack, I'm going to go after the awake animated object. Okay. There's a crit. Oh my god. Yep. See you later. All right. And then I am going to reposition myself. Right here. Okay. Actually, one more over. Right here. And that's going to be my turn. Okay. Uh, Actually, okay. sorry. Bonus action, uh, I'm going to inspire Sano. All right. And then that'll be my turn. That'll bring us to Sano. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Booming Blade the Awaken. Awaken? Awaken? Wolf? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Where is my thing for Booming Blade? I have so many things here. There. All right, so it's going to be a death burden attack. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, puppy. Yay. And then I'm going to go ahead and move up next to... Actually, I'm going to move up right here. Okay. And bonus action... Have fun. Do it now or do we wait? Go always fun, YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm trying to think. Uh yeah, actually I'm gonna move up next to Cali instead. Um Cali, plus two to your AC. Oh, hell yeah. I'm now, I'm now concentrating on Shield of Faith as a bonus action. Nice. <laughs> All right. Very cool. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Solid. All right. The animated objects are all asleep, so that's going to bring us to Strahd and the Wolves. <coughs> um, Strahd is going to drop concentration on animated objects. And instead, he's going to cast Greater Invisibility on himself. Counterspell. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll for it. Or, what's your spell slot level? Three. Okay, so you're going to have to roll for it. It's a DC 14 Charisma check. I have advantage on it. Hell yeah. Actual 20. Oh. <laughs> That you, got Shred. his attention. Yeah, that's a big old FU. Uh, caught me slipping there. That, <laughs> yep. Um, okay, that being the case, he 
he is going to hmm that changes things okay he is fuck he's just hecka mad right now <laughs> yeah he is. he's gonna he's gonna say fuck it and get in the gap he's gonna come in he's gonna come in he ain't scared um that'll be his turn that'll bring us to diego who's still laughing reviving at the end of your turn, Diego, Strahd is going to use his first legendary action to make one unarmed strike against Kali. Okay. Um, that's a 15 to hit? Nope. Okay. Uh, that's going to bring us to uh, Fartbuckle, who's still sleeping. So, so it's actually the Spectre. The Spectre rolled an 8, but didn't get added to the initiative, Luke. I'm so sorry. Let me add okay. that. Um, that'll Where bring us my... to the Spectre. My Spectre stat watch disappeared. <laughs> there he is. Um... Uh, I need to kill someone. Um, yeah, we're just gonna get the Spectre in on this. Okay. I think. I actually don't know. This is this is a pain. Either that or wake up friend. Yeah, he's gonna go up to fart buckle, and the only attack he has is life drain. Okay. <laughs> so, good luck, fart buckle. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Oh God. Okay, so fourteen. So that puts him at thirty-six health, and he's got to make a Constitution saving throw. Natural 20, let's go, Natural Firebuckle. Work. He is go awake. Work. He's awake. <laughs> Sorry, Firebuckle. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I can do, my man. Oh, I love it. I love it. Alright, that's that's all my Spectre's got. Okay, well that's going to bring us to Firebuckle's turn, because he's awake now. So he's going to stand up, and he is going to go ahead and drop a fucking fireball. Um... Right there, so we're gonna get two wolves and Strahd. I just barely missed Callie. Oh my damage roll! Damn. Holy shit! Wow. Okay, so the wolves just die. Even if they save, they die. <coughs> and Strahd is gonna make a deck save. Uh, that's a failure. So he'll take the 40 points of fire damage. <laughs> That's hot. Okay. That's um, ridiculous. Alrighty. Start of the round. The bats are no more, so we're going to get rid of them. We're going to switch the music up. And Callie, you're up. Alright, we're 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 going big. We are recklessly attacking Strahd with poison on. With poison on. Okay. Get it, girl. 26. 26 hits. Um, let me check Strahd's. This is a magical attack, so it goes through. Okay, so that's going to be 38 points of damage. Uh, he has to make a con save for the poison. Ah, okay. Um, DC 14. That's an 8. He is going to choose to succeed. So he will... Actually, no, okay. he's just going to take it all. He's going to take it all. No, he... he... Well, if he because he failed by five or more, then he is paralyzed for a full minute. Hmm. I don't know if you would know that. He's smart. I'm gonna <laughs> say he chooses to succeed, so he gets some Fair. health back too. Um, how much health would he get back there? He'd get the fourteen. Fourteen health back. Okay. Okay. So All right. Sec attack. Second attacks. Same as the first. 26. 26. He's got to make a con save. Succeeds that time. Okay. Uh, so so then that's takes... 11 plus 13. 11 plus 15. It's 26 damage. Okay. All right. Um, that plus two rage, counting on the poison. Yeah, I don't know how to spike okay. that out. 
It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Um, you know what? And we're gonna use an inspiration on Fart Buckle. Alrighty, Fart Buckle, getting in on this. And Let's that's go. my turn. Alrighty, Sano, you are up. Booming Blade Strong. Oh, Callie, you get an extra 1d4 damage on that, too. Oh, I do on all of those. Yeah. So for sure. enlarge. Good yep. call. Extra 4 damage. Every point yep. counts. And then I'm doing the Booming Blade. That's a 20, so that's <laughs> 10 now, plus 1. I'm smiting. Oh, boy. Oh, hell yeah. He is, hell he yeah. an undead. And Radiant for cases of point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be 17 Radiant, and then it's going to be Spider another one deep for extra damage. We take those. We take it? We take it. And, um... Yeah, I'm ready for a short rest whenever anyone else is. <laughs> I'm, I'm good to take it. Do we want to take it? Could we use the special to attack me first, then we can use a short rest to fully heal if that works. There we go. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Smart. Yeah, I can Smart. Smart. All right. Uh, I'm concentrating on Shield of Faith, so I'm good. Okay. Dude. I'm done. That's it's Strahd. Us Strahd. to Strahd. <laughs> Strahd did take Radiant damage. So he is not going to regenerate. Um, ouch. Okay. Um, does he go more offensive or defensive here? Also, I haven't been using his legendary actions. If he goes defense, he's a pussy. <laughs> oh. That Diego says that through laughing on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, I think he goes defense. I think he goes defense. Um, we're gonna use our action to cast mirror image on ourselves. We're gonna give him those three. Get the duplicates going. Um. And then we are going to end the turn. Oh, we've got some donations coming in. Um, we got a ten dollar, eleven dollar donation from Melvin. We're gonna get uh, one more enlarge, and you guys get an extra round of attacks. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Thanks, Melvin. Thank you, Melvin. We're giants. We've got a ten dollar donation from Pangy Rage. Uh, for another extra attack. So you guys are going to get two extra attacks this turn. Fuck Ooh, your okay. mirror image. <laughs> yeah, fuck your mirror image. God damn. Okay. Oh, um, Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. That's awesome. Okay. Like 280 uh, that was... health. Thank you. <laughs> that was Strahd's turn. That's going to be this. Diego, you're still laughing. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um... Oh, we've got a $20 donation from Aranus. Welcome in, Aranus. That's going to be uh, another extra attack. So that's three extra attacks. And we have a fire the triple A, triple R. Aranus, if you're in chat, homie, where do you want that triple A, triple R? I don't think I've seen him in the Twitch chat just yet. Strahd. Strahd. He wants it on Strahd. He wants it on Strahd. Okay. Triple H, Triple R, 78 on Strahd. Can we turn oh, the tides? It's... Oh, interesting. We've had this one before in, in Build-A-Boss. The creature focuses its attacks on the enemy carrying the most gold. Hi, at me. <laughs> Is that Kelly? Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, Diego, you are still laughing, so that brings us to the Spectre. Um, Spectre's going to go ahead and hit Diego and hope to God it doesn't one shot kill him. Alrighty. Won't even be close. It was close, actually. 19. <laughs> okay, Diego is unconscious. Question. If I damage swap with Diego, would he still wake up? Mm, technically, he wouldn't be taking the damage to get proc, so I would say no. However, 
this has the potential to outright kill Diego if right. he does the con save. So it's up to you. I yellow it. I'm rolling it. All right, we're we're we're, <laughs> we're right. going for it. You, you go, right. buddy. Diego, roll it into the dice. Save. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Wasn't you are unconscious. Worried. You are unconscious, but not dead. We are popping our short rest. All right. Go ahead and take your short rest. I'm gonna take a leak real quick. Um, go ahead and roll your hit dice, gain your spell slots, all that fun stuff. We will be. Uh, I'll be right back as they're rolling their dice. Hard shit. You guys get an extra five HP if you roll hit dice. I am at max health. <laughs> well. Diego should be at max health now too. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're kidding me, Tally. Alright, that's a little bit better. Alright, uh, math. Okay, so we're up to 20. 5. <coughs> and I get my spells back, yay. DC, roll your hit dice to be alive again. Well, if we get a plus five, I'm very confident in full health. <laughs> roll it anyway. Right. Right, we're back to full. Nine right, health, let's go! Nine health. Let's go. Oh. And then, I guess... Oh wait, no, it's a... You got two hit die, you can roll another one. Yeah, yeah you can roll another one. Oh wait, no, I'm 1d6. Okay! How are you looking, folks? Diego's back up. <laughs> Diego's back but not full, somehow. <laughs> hey, we try, we try. Alrighty. Um... With the extra attacks, does my specter get those attacks since he's part of does... our party? The specters are not going to get the attacks, but... Okay, I'm just checking. Yep, no, it's all good, it's all good. Um, other than that, uh... Yeah, specters all set, he just moved next to Strahd. Okay. That's going to bring us to... <coughs> Buckle, who's going to move right on up. He did stand prone last turn, I just... Crowded. Fart Buckle is going to make his two attacks on Strahd. Both are misses, but that's a natural one for Samu. All right, twenty more dollars. Okay. Luke, just as just as a cumulative, how many nat ones have we rolled just in this encounter? Oh god, I have no idea. <laughs> I just wanted to um, know. I'm curious. I'm up to sixteen total for the total event so far, and I think I think six yeah, of them have been tonight. Yeah, I was That's gonna say it's at least four. I think it's six tonight. All right, fart buckle whiff. That's gonna bring us to the top of the round. We're gonna change the music up. Callie, you're up. All right, recklessly attacking last. Actually, I'm not going to do poison on this because I don't know if I'm going to hit him or not. Yeah. Okay. So as you attack, go ahead and roll a d20 to start to see who you're targeting. An eight. Um, fucking. I know I cast the spell, but I still hate the spell. I think it's the six or lower. Um, with two duplicates, you must roll or a six or higher. So. You are targeting a duplicate. Okay, so pop one. Uh, so the first attack is going to take out one duplicate. All right, second attack. We roll another one. That... That's going to target Strahd. Do I have the ability to activate poison at this point, or no? Because that's kind I of. I would say you'd, you'd have to make the call. All right, I'm not. Play. Yeah, then this yeah. will be. Um, this will be. All of these are reckless, though. They're all reckless. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-five hit. Four, ten, twelve points, okay. Alright, third attack. Eleven. How does Strahd not have resistance to poison damage as a vampire? I don't know, but thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven with two remaining is gonna target a dummy. Yep. And then I think I have a fourth attack, because we, we got the double attack twice, right? I you have to double attack three game. times. You got yeah. three, three times. times. Oh, yeah, you get three right. more. Six. Six is targeting Strahd. Strahd. 22. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Gotta roll the, uh... I did. I rolled a six. A six is another target straw. That's another... Um, and then two. that was two or three D4 on Strahd for enlarge. Uh, you're up to two D4. We're up to two D4 and I hit him twice. Three times. Yeah. Three, times? Three, times. three times? Three times. Yep, so an extra... Six D4? Six D4, yeah. Six D4. Another 16 points of damage. Let's go! Hell yeah. Fucking brick shit house, dude. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, last... Last inspo, we're we're spending it on Diego. Go Diego, go. Okay, go Diego. I like it. Alrighty. At the end of your turn, Strahd's gonna make an unarmed attack against you. I gotta remember his legendary actions. Yep. At advantage. Uh, at advantage is a twenty-six. Yeah. Um. We're gonna choose to grapple you instead of dealing damage. Okay. That's fine. You are auto grappled. Got it. Okay. That's going to bring us to Sano. Now, Cal, he's going to try to miss the clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> he can't miss it if it doesn't exist. Oh, my God. It's um, only legendary until you prove it's real. So. True. One, two, three. Okay. Um. Luke, four booming yes. blades incoming. <laughs> okay. Uh, boom blade is selected. Desperate. First one. 19 for 14. 19's a hit for 14. 28 for 12. 15, 15 is a miss. You are inspired. I'll use it. D6? Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. use it. Because. Sure, 18. that's another 18. I'm going to smite on that one. Okay. Um, it's only going to be a 1d6. I'm only using the level 1 spell slot for this. So 2d8 okay. radiant. 13 radiant. And then. Get all the extra enlarges. Yep. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm just keeping it down in just a sec. <laughs> Last attack. Booming blade. 29 for 19. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And then because it's four attacks, that's 8d4. <laughs> It would help if I could spell, guys. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Another 27 two. points of damage. With that, Strahd poofs into a cloud of mist and floats away. Theoretically, killing Strahd is a lot harder than that to fully kill him. But for the sakes of build a boss, that is a successful win. Uh, the wolves will poof into a cloud of smoke as well, as they are only contingent upon him being here. You guys have su successfully cleared your round in Act 2. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Team 3. That was, uh, that was some swinging back and forth. That was that was a wild ride. I didn't know what way that was going to go. <laughs> Good job, guys. Excellent job. Okay. Not even close. Honestly, honestly, you guys are pretty fucking... That was some good strategizing. The freaking um, waking up Sano with the bat redirect. That was... That was playing the game right there. That was clutch. That was clutch. That was clutch. Goat. goat is goat. Goat is goated. All right, homies. We're going to take a quick 10-minute um, break or so. We're going to cycle out Team D in here, uh, and we will catch you right after the break. So stay tuned. Check out Same Use website while you're in there. Look at our donation goals. We're up to almost 150 bucks raised for tonight, which is fucking awesome. Good job, everybody. We'll see you in just a little bit.
Hello, my name is Jenny Clark. I am the co-founder with my daughter Amelia and the CEO of the charity Same You to help people recover better after a brain injury. Thank you so much for supporting our Gaming for Good for the Thrones live streaming initiative. It's really exciting to be doing this with you and thanks so much for supporting our favourite live streamers who have been great supporters of Same You for a long time now. What we're trying to do is to make sure that more people in the world understand the issues surrounding brain injury recovery. It's a very bleak place to find yourself in when you have survived a brain injury and you need support that you just can't get. People can't achieve recovery without good therapy and particularly without mental health support. That some of the things that we've been doing since we started is funding research, funding education training programs and investing in digital technologies to make the workforce more productive and to help more people recover. If you're interested in our work, please look at us at sameu.org and you'll see some of the resources that we've got uh, we'd love to be able to do more, but we are a very small charity and we'd be thrilled if you would be interested in live stream for us as well. So please go to our website. You'll see where you could join. And thank you so much to you for taking the time to listen to this. And thank you for your continued support. Amelia says thank you too. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Clark. Jenny Clark, that is the mother of the mother of dragons. Um, we just wanted to roll that again. Super, super amazing video, um, telling us all a little bit about what Sami is all about, and uh, you know what this whole for the throne thing's all about. So uh, big shout out to Sami. Again, can't say enough good things about these people. They've been amazing to work with. They do amazing work. Definitely take the time, check them out because it's it's really cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Team D. Locked and loaded, ready to go. Your fight was designed by Team A. Mm. And you have chosen your home field advantage map, which is kind of adorable and hilarious. <laughs> Let's get it started. Oh. What are those? <laughs> what are <laughs> those? Okay. <laughs> 
We've got oh, no. uh, a blue slug. We've got an elder oblex or an adult oblex. We've got a star spawn mangler, which literally doesn't have a token image because it's so it is it is a far realm being that is beyond description. We've got an amethyst dragon wormling and a flying sword. Oh. I encourage everyone to look up the art for a star spawn mangler because it is some eldritch horror shit that it is. Someone were to run a Call of Cthulhu campaign would want to draw inspiration from. Uh, all right, homies, let's uh, go ahead, click on our tokens, and uh, roll some initiatives, and I'll do the same on my end. All right, guys, let's let's kick butt. Easy, Be inconceivable. <laughs> inconceivable. No, no, take your time. 11 there. The star spawn. I'm mangler. ready to go last. <laughs> you, you keep saying that word. I don't think it means what you think. <laughs> I am a poet. I didn't even know it. No more rhymes now. I mean it. <laughs> Would you like a peanut? Like a peanut? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, we will wait, um, any last minute donations? Anybody want to spice things up, buff the party before we get going? Give it a 20 second countdown here. Alrighty then, let's get the show started. Gordy, you have the initiative. The little Gordon. Uh, I take it. I should know my own map a little so bit. Better. Says, this is like a bit of an uphill. Uh, yeah, you guys are coming up here. You guys are coming uphill there. Yeah. 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 All right. So let's see. Gordy will hold. Run, hold. Run 40... Hold. Something coming in. Oh, no. Holding. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chatta, what are you doing? Uh oh, Chatta. Chatta, please. Hold. Let me, let me refresh here. Why are we holding? Why are we holding? Hold. Okay, go ahead and keep taking your turn. We'll just kind of slow roll it. Slow pedal. Okay. Uh, uh, Gordy's going to cast Fireball on these guys, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm so I scared. Guess. Let her rip. All right. Uh, oh my God. The... Okay. A thirty-three dollar donation from Chatta. Here we go. Oh. We've got fart buckle to the rescue. We've got enlarge the party times three, and we're firing the triple A triple R. What are we hitting with the triple A triple R? Yes. We have a new top donor. Holy shit. Do we? Let's let me chat it out. Give it up to Pengy, right? What? What? We have Pengy at 195. Wow. Uh, Triple oh, H, are the unspeakable creature. Okay, so guys, you, we get Fart Buckle joining the team. Yay. Yay, Fart, Fart Buckle. Buckle's gonna, Fart Buckle's Getting gonna the band back too. together. Okay. Um, you guys are gonna get Triple and large, you're going to get uh, extra 3d4 damage on all weapon attacks and cantrips. And then we're firing the triple A, triple R on the Star Spangle Mangler. The hash slinging, the, the 66, that feels like a fitting, creepily fitting number. Oh. Um, the oh, creature, okay. 66. The creature may use its reaction to make a retaliation attack. <laughs> That's actually really dope. As I'm casting fireball at it, interesting. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Sorry, I gotta gotta fix my page here. Stand Wait, by. what did Gordy hit again? Uh, I'm targeting right in the middle of okay. the three. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll me the uh the fireball damage. All right. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, 
86. Ooh, and I what like is your spell save DC? It is... Uh, I had it in here originally. I believe it's a 15. Okay. The slot is going to fail. He will take 36 points of fire damage. The slot is the big blue fire guy. He is resistant, so he will take 18 points of fire damage. Mm, okay. The adult oblex is going to make a dexterity saving throw he's going to fail he'll take 36 he will take the uh the full damage um the full damage and i gotta mark him with a blue thing because fire damage does something to him and then the uh star spangled mangler the star spawn mangler is going to make a dex save as an eight <laughs> Dang, it's an 18, uh, Bless the mangler. It's gonna be my porn um, star name. <laughs> uh, he's gonna take half damage. He will take 18. Okay, nice fireball to start things off. Hmm. Uh, as a bonus action, we have a ten dollar donation from Pengi Rage to fire the triple A triple R on the slot. Let's go. A 26 on the slot. 26 ladies and gentlemen is the creature's intelligence score becomes 25 oh good lord that's a smart slot he's a wicked smart wicked smart wicked smart that's funny because his intelligence was a seven now it's a 25 oh, wow yeah, he's like all of a sudden he's like all sorts of his, his head creatures. just grew five times <laughs> he he was sitting there like oh look a flower and all of a sudden he's like Oh, look, a strawberry. What a predicament. <laughs> My god, a strawberry. Interesting, fellow <laughs> creatures. Uh, as a bonus action, Gordy is going to reach into his pocket, grab out his scissors of shadow snipping, and cut off his own shadow. Okay. Uh, just to prep it for the next round. Okay, where would you like to put it? Uh, if I could, I'd like to put it here. Okay, perfect. All right. Cool. Thank you for the dot. All yeah. right, that's turn. Beautiful. That's going to bring us to Onka. Perfect. What are the rules on the team fighting doing donations? Y'all can donate as much as you want. Okay, just curious. I Oh, yeah. No, that's last encouraged. Week and it I is, didn't know if, yeah. It is encouraged. Oh, no. It's your money to a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> good point. <laughs> um, all right, what are we going to do here? $1,690, but Nice. All right, so we are going to bonus action rage and take half of my movement, so 25. All right, so bonus action to rage. And instinctive pounce. There. Okay. Um, and then we will probably just try to run up and attack this guy. Why not? Alrighty, we've got a $10 donation from Jay Milio. Thank you, Jay Milio, to give you guys extra attacks. So until Onka's next turn, you guys are all going to get one extra attack. Yay. Uh, attacking, that's right. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and attack at this guy. This big dude with the All nightmare right. blade of wrath. Hell yeah. Is it daytime or is it nighttime? I would say it's daytime here. Darn it. <laughs> He's gonna do a normal roll, not at advantage. Or no reckless. Okay, straight roll. 27. 27. Um, For 30, and be... how much was this? 3d4? Uh, yeah, you guys are 3d4. So, I would say Dimulator Darkness only. Um, okay, so I'll give ten. it to uh, uh, it's It's your map, so if you wanted to do like a sunset fight on the cliffside, I think that makes sense. We'll give you the extra dim light there. Um, okay. So, 38 points of damage. Oh my god. Uh, attack number two. Yep. What's the thing behind the boss? That is really a, flying, a flying sword. A flying sword, okay. A 15 is uh, going to be a miss. Lame. 
All right, attack number three. I have three this turn, right? Yep. Yep. Oof. Wait, and 19? a 19 will hit for 26. Nice. Wait, wait. Yeah. Plus an extra 3d4. Seven more. 30. Okay. Very nice. We have a $10 donation from Sanryu. Thank you very much. We're going to triple A, triple R on the slot again. We're stacking the buffs on the frog. A Give him more intelligence. One. More intelligence. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. This one's mean, you guys. Oh, the no. creature continues to make attacks on its turn until it misses. Oh, oh it's got the it's got the, the gilly rumble rumble roar thing. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. That's scary. That's painful. That's real scary. <laughs> I love all the holy shits in chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else in your turn, Oka? Uh, action, no. Bonus action and movement? Okay. Yeah, that's all uh, of it. We're going to move on to the flying sword. The flying sword's going to move up. Um, it's going to make a... One long sword attack against you. Add advantage as an 18 to hit. I think that's a miss. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, maybe not. I think it is 19. What the hell? Everything reset itself. Why? 15 is not right. Yeah, it's a 19. So eight. Okay, that's so a miss. 15 is going to be a miss. Alrighty. Gordy. As uh, you are casting your fireballs and running in and Oka rushes past you, you feel a drop of rain come and you're strange because there's no clouds in the sky. And you look up and the archway that you're so beautifully standing underneath becomes a oh. giant fucking mimic. <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh my god. You at advantage. Oh no. Um, <sighs> So we are going to do a, uh, a <laughs> pseudopod, pseudopod attack at advantage for the surprise uh, is going to be an 18 to hit. Uh, all right. So, hang on. Gordy has... Can I use my reaction to cast shield here? I would say technically yes. Okay. Because even though you're surprised, you'd still have a reaction. Yeah. Gordy is going to cast shield. Okay. So it plops onto the ground next to you, the pseudopod lashing out, just barely missing. Oh, you ugly fuck. It joins what the are you? Okay. Um, that is its turn. Holy crap, we got a $45 donation from Aranus. Um, we've got a bunch of incentives. All right. Um, we've got a long rest token, guys. We can cash that in whenever you need to. We got another round of extra attacks. And we've got a wild magic surge. Who's the wild magic surge going to be targeting, Aranus? Um, Gordy. Okay, um, Gord. I, personally, I would target meta. Me okay, that's fine then. All right, Riku, I'm going to give you the yellow dot whenever you cast a spell of first level or higher. It's going to trigger a wild magic surge. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, good job, guys. Okay. Um, oh, no. Alrighty, that was it for the bigger, the bigger mimic there. Uh, it's going to bring us to the adult oblex. Um, the oblex can't. It's going to move 20 feet. Um, the. Oblex is gonna go ahead and cast a hold person on the range on hold person, sorry. 60 feet. We're gonna go ahead and cast that on Onka. So Onka, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Come on. This isn't a curse, is it? It is not a curse. Oh man. I'm very not good at these. Ooh! 16? 
16 just saves. Let's go. All right, that is his full action. That's going to bring us to the slot. The slot is going to go. Well, the slot has magic resistance. Who would have had advantage? That's okay. Um, the slot is going to regain 10 hit points at the start of its turn. And then it is going to move 30 feet. Um, and it's going to dash right on up to you, uh, Riku. Oh, fun. Yes. Okay, that is his turn. That's going to bring us to the Star Spawn Mangler. We got a $10 donation from Nyx. We're going to triple A, triple R on the Spawn, the Star Spawn Mangler. Okay. 77. Interesting. Oh, God. <laughs> the creature no. focuses its attacks on the enemy with the highest charisma score. What's everybody's charisma score? Oh, no. Eight. <laughs> I am so sorry, the rest of you. Thirteen. Oh, no. That's the winner. All right. It is locked and loaded on you, Rico. I'm on twelve. Okay. <laughs> uh, on its turn, it's going to start moving. It's got a movement speed of 40 feet. Okay. 40 feet gets us there. We're going to squeeze right on past. We're going to get behind you there. Uh, it's going to dash to get you pinned there, Riku, but it's focused on you. Yeah. All right. And speaking of which, that's going to bring us to Riku. You are up. Uh, um, how would uh, the surge work with Hex? Uh, Hex is a spell of first level or higher. Yeah. So you, you would get, uh, the, when you cast it, it would, uh, trigger. Okay, oh. well, I'm gonna cast Hex on the big dude. On the Do frog? It. Okay. Yeah. And then go ahead and roll me a D100. Uh... Oh, I closed out of the wild magic shit. 22. 22. Let's see. Uh, standard spellbook creatures have disadvantage on saving throws against the next spell that you cast in the next minute that involves a saving throw. Uh, that might be useful, useless to me. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to. Crap. Um, I forgot. Uh, he's got the endless attack too. Crap. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'm I'm just gonna hit him with the I think I'm just gonna attack him. How many attacks do I get? Uh you're gonna get your normal attack plus two extra attacks. Okay. We've got another ten dollar donation from Nyx for another triple A triple R on the Star Spawn Mangler. <laughs> Star Spangled Mangler. <laughs> the Star Spangled Mangler. <laughs> An eighty. Oh my god. Okay. Um Ooh, okay, let's get spicy. I see. The creature casts lightning bolt at third level in a randomly determined direction. So we're just going to do a scatter die. We're going to roll a d12, like a clock. Oh my god. <laughs> Six. No. Three, no. Three. Oh no. Oh. Um, no, no, no. So it does not specify the spell save DC. So I'm going to say it's a DC 15, so I need a dexterity saving throw from Riku and from Fartbuckle. Ah, oh, where's Fartbuckle? Fartbuckle saves. He's going to take 14 points of damage. And Riku with a 14. That's a failure. You're going to take the full 28 points of lightning damage. Uh, I am going to cast Absorb Elements. Ooh, okay. So that will reduce it from 28 down to 14, and then your next melee attack is going to get the extra lightning damage. Is that a first level spell? It is a first level spell, so that's another wild magic. I didn't know it was more than once. Oh, yeah. No, it's, yeah. Every it's time you cast. For the rest of combat. <laughs> you got the wild magic 11. table for the rest of combat. 
11. Um, Most of the wild magic table is beneficial, by the way. Um, roll a d10 for me. What was oh. the damage I took again? Because it was half or whatever? 14. Uh, 14. 14 lightning. You said d10? Yep. Six. Um, you're going to grow six inches taller. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, nice. See, beneficial. Beneficial. I'm taller now. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It is still your turn, Riku. Um, so I tried hitting with one attack. Uh, sorry, did I miss that? That was uh, missed I got a 13 and 22, but it would be the 13. Okay, 13 is gonna miss on. It's the, above uh... your 80. Yes, I see that. 13 is uh, gonna can... miss. You said two. I get two more. Two more attacks. Yep. 20 will hit and the 10 will miss okay so 20 will hit for five you're attacking the slot yeah okay so frog five dude. points of damage on the, the frog dude okay, you get your 3d4 you get 3d4 oh. and your hex damage yeah so let's do the hex damage first six other six very nice and then Shiksa. what 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 do we get for the size now too 3D4. Um, it's 3D4. 3D4. 3D4 extra damage for the enlarge. Nice. Nice roll. Very nice. Big numbers. All no right. enemies. A lot of numbers, sorry. <laughs> Riku, a lot of dice. Um, I use my bonus action. I use my attack. I think I'm good. Okay. That's going to bring us to the Amethyst Dragon Wormling, who is toe-to-toe -to -toe with Onka, looking quite hurt. Uh, it's going to go ahead and use its Singularity Breath. Um, that was fun. Onka, I need you to make me a Strength Saving Throw. Oh. <clears throat> I'm good at those. You are pretty good at those. I don't know if I get any bonuses. I don't think I get an advantage or anything. I think I just get... Oh. Well, question. you're raging, right? Yeah, what's up? I forgot on my turn. I absorbed that element would from yeah, the electric. Yes. Did I do go the ahead. roll for that? Yep, go ahead and add an extra 1d6. <laughs> I, I almost forgot about that. That's okay. Three, Three extra damage on the slot. Okay. Yeah, uh, I rolled a 24 on the main. 24, on the first. yes. Um, so, okay, you're going to take nine points of force damage. And that's it. Alrighty, start of round two. I'm going to switch up the music. Gordy, you're up. All right, how what many extra attacks are we up to? Luke? You are going to get two extra attacks. Okay. Onka is going to get one extra attack on his turn, and then it's clear. Okay. Gordy is going to then... Here's how this is going to work. Gordy's going to make four attacks on the Mimic. The two okay. for his usual turn, and then the two from the extra. Okay. Uh, so, Thwackstaff has been retired. I'm using the Staff of Insatiable Hunger. Okay. So, first hit. Oh, we love this. There's hit. a crit, baby. That's 15. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go. Uh... I believe that also has some weird little thing to it, so I'll figure that out later. Uh, okay. Three more attacks, though. 21 for 11, okay. Mm -hmm. Gonna thwack again. Thwack. Another 12. I'm so sorry, I rolled that as the thwack staff. It doesn't change any modifiers. Doesn't change, nope, it's all good. I saw that too, it's okay. Okay. Uh, nice. Another yeah. 10. Four right, for four. Alright. All right. Uh, Gordy is then going to... Uh, Meta, are you okay for right now? <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, I'm... I'm a little feeling it, but I, I might be able to survive. Gordy's gonna spend the key point to disengage. Okay, step of the way. Um, and that will be turn. Onka, I I believe in you. Alrighty. 
that's going to bring us to Fartbuckle. Um, Fartbuckle, save me. Fartbuckle's going to try. Um, <laughs> Fartbuckle, you're my hero. Fartbuckle's going to drop a fireball on the Slod and the Elder Oblex. I forgot that you had that. Yeah, so Ooh. the Slod at advantage uh, is a 21, so he's going to take half of that. Is 16 halved again is 8. And the elder, or sorry, the adult oblex, not elder, um, is going to fail. Or sorry, he's going to succeed. He will take um, 16. You're doing really good, Farbuckle. Alrighty, that's you. his turn. That's going to bring us to Onka. Um, I just realized I didn't roll my curse thingy on the damage I took from. That was what, the dragon in front of me? Yeah, that's okay. Go ahead and roll the wisdom save. And I can add six to it. Twenty-five. Oh yeah, you're good. You're That's good. That's a save. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I can add six for my strength. That one I think actually saved without needing the, the strength though. <laughs> Roll a nineteen. Oh no, it is a DC twenty on this one. Yeah. Um. All right. So not force to get that dragon. So what I want to do is I want to use my bonus action to use the scimitar slashing winds feature to dash towards I think this guy yes okay now is that going to provoke opp attacks of opportunity probably okay so the dragon and the sword will both get attacks uh, so the dragon's going to go for a bite will be an 18 I think that's a miss. miss and the sword with a slash is a 19 that hits for four, have to two. For four, have to two. Yep. I have to do the wisdom saving throw. So how would that work in this case? I mean, the, would the action from the blade go off and then I'd have to run back over there to, <laughs> to kill yeah. the sword? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Love it. Big numbers. Nope. Oh, okay. So you s dashed over there and you're like, the fucking sword. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, as part of the dash over there, I can make an, a weapon attack with the scimitar slashing winds against the creature. So I do get an attack against the slot with the okay. scimitar. I believe it'd be at disadvantage, though, because of the curse. We'll go reckless then and make it normal. Okay. what I get? what I get? Oh, I didn't do it. Did I not do it at advantage? Oh, it's a straight just... roll. Yeah. Um, oh, no, yeah, normal because yeah. of the, yeah. 26 for 10. Very nice. Plus the three. Uh, I don't think I see the rage damage in there either. Uh, You're right. So no. Two, two damage there. Okay. 21. Very nice. Three damage. Three. Okay. I'm at, th I'm at three damage for rage. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. So next, we're going to move back over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's going to provoke an attack of opportunity from the slot. On the plus side, guys, nobody has reactions left. That's a miss. That's a miss. All right, we are going to take... So I've still got my two regular attacks. Yep. And an extra attack. And one extra, yep. All right. Oh. So I've already started attacking recklessly so that I can attack recklessly the rest of the turn. We're going to go after the sword real quick. Okay. Let's do it to it. Ooh, that's a big, that's going to be a big one. Oh yeah, that's a one dot. Boop. Where's the rage damage? It was there a second ago, wasn't it? It must be a toggleable thing. But it is either way, that, that kills the sword. All right, so the sword's dead. I'm no longer pissed off at anything. Yep. Uh, but, I mean, we're already right here. How far was that, by the way? Uh, so I still have 15 30. feet of movement if I need it? Yep. All right, reckless at the dragon creature now. Oh. Oof. Glad I went reckless. Ooh, Jesus, 31. Almost Ooh. a crit. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to put the dragon out of its misery. Oh, uh, I guess, oh. we'll come and use our extra. 
We'll kind of use our extra attack on the Mimic. Twenty-seven, 27 for twenty-one, twenty-four. Plus the extra eight. Okay. Thirty-two. Big damage. And that's bonus action, action movement. That will be our turn. An absolute freaking wrecking ball. Okay. Um, the flying sword is done. Let me get rid of that sheet. That's going to bring us to the bigger mimic. Uh, the bigger mimic is going to attack you, Onka. At advantage. Uh oh. Is going to be a 22. That hits. All right, so that's going to be 15 or six points of bludgeoning damage, half to three, plus nine acid for a total of 12, and you are grappled. I'm grappled. Yep. And hold on. Wait. There we go. Oh, we are not super angry at this guy. That's a crit, technically, right? Does that count as a crit? Uh, yeah. It, for it, natural for Dono time, purposes, yeah. yeah. There you go. Nice. All righty. Um, that's going to be it for his turn. That's going to bring us to the adult oblux. Um, adult oblux is going to go 20 feet. We are going to go We're going to go for another hold person on Gordy. So Gordy, cool. I need a wisdom saving throw. I am very wise in the ways of many. It's a DC 15. All right. Wisdom that's a no go. All righty, that's it for his turn. No regeneration, no Okay. Uh, that's going to bring us to the blue slot at the start of its turn. It's going to gain 10 health. This is where it gets fun. Okay, so the blue slot um, attacks until it misses. And what else does it have on it? It attacks. Well, I'll, I'll address has... that in a second. Yeah, it has to attack Riku. And it has to attack Riku at disadvantage. Because you hit it, right? Because my first attack last turn... Hit it. Hit Smart. It. Okay. Mm. So, going against Riku, we're going to go with the claw attack. At disadvantage is a 12. Uh, misses. Alright, second go. attack, second yeah. attack oh, is no. going to be a 12, and mm. the bite is going to be an 18. I am that meets, but I'm going to cast shield. Okay, as you cast shield and block it, that triggers a wild magic surge. Go ahead and roll a d100. Let's go. <laughs> 40. Oh, 40. You regain 2d10 hit points, so go ahead and roll 2d10 and heal that much. 13. Nice. Very nice. Alrighty, that's it for the blue slot. That's going to bring us to the Star Spawn Mangler. I ain't um, feeling so bad anymore. All right. Spangled. The Star Spangled Spangler. Um, he is going to make. Okay. He's going to do his Flurry of Claws ability and has a bonus action move right up next to Gordy without provoking attacks of opportunity. And then he is going to make six attacks against Gordy. Uh, Luke, I'm homeless now. You're really going to do that to me? Jesus. <laughs> All right, here we go. First one. 21 for 10. Uh, 21 for 10. Reaction cast shield. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that will miss. So what's your AC now with the plus five? Uh, 23. 23. Three, four. Oh, Whiffer. That shield coming in clutch. Thank God for the tier of Simmel. Okay. Yeah. That was pretty much its 
whole freaking turn right there to whiff a bunch. That's going to bring us to Riku. Okay. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you about the feather last time when I hit him. He, I dropped one. Okay. For my weapon. Yep. Uh, um, and I'm going to hit with the raven's feather again. Okay. 22 will hit for six. Right. And then that drops another feather, and then yep. I <laughs> am going to summon the the bird with my uh, bu -bu 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 with my bonus bird. action. Bird is over. Okay. I think I should be able to pull that, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember the health amount it gets, though, for two feathers. It's four times the amount of feathers, so I think it would be eight health. Eight <laughs> health, okay. Yeah. Uh, can I open the character sheet there? Okay. I don't know if I can edit the the token directly. Can I? Like the health on to. the token? Oh, you already did that. Never mind. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Alright, so then since I hit, I need to do the hex damage too. And your extra uh, 3d4. Hex damage. Forgot about that. And an extra five. All right. Very nice. Very nice. And then I'll pass on to my bird. I did not mean to do that. That's okay. I can get rid of the birds. My bad. I, I clicked over to the character sheet and my mouse happened to be right over the swarm of birds. It's all good. Mm -hmm. uh, which one is half and which one is full health? Yeah. Above half health. There we go. All right. We have a ten dollar donation from Sonryu. Another triple uh, A triple R on the star eater. Okay. Coming in hot. Fifty six triple A triple R. That's wild magic. This is triple A triple R. Fifty six. Oh God. Uh oh. Oh no. The creature automatically grapples and restrains the target on a successful melee attack. Ooh. That's gonna get ugly, guys. That's gonna get real ugly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Oh, no. uh, the beak attack is an 18 that will hit for 7 piercing, mm -hmm. plus the hex damage. Two. Okay. <laughs> Chipping away at this slot. All right, we got another ten bucks from Aranus for a round of extra attacks. So starting on Gordy's turn, everyone's gonna have an extra attack here. Yes. All right. Anything else, Riku? Uh, no. That, my bird's only one attack. Okie dokie. The dragon is gone, so we are on to the next round of initiative. We're gonna change the music. I really have to pee, so I'm going to be right back, guys. Gordy, you can think about your next turn real quick. Okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It, what happened here? I, I missed something. Is the Star Spawn Spangler? Jeez, He's Star behind Star you now. He's Star behind. Spangled so what, Dangler. So it's Star Spangled Dangler. So what's this guy? Up by that's a, my crows. Well, oh, that's your crows. Okay, yeah. I was about to come smack your crows up. <laughs> I yeah, thought Luke just found a badass uh, token for him. It seemed like eldritch and scary from afar. No. No. Okay. Uh, well, I thought it was supposed to attack me or something like that. The star no, thing, or is that the no that the, frog? It, the frog? When it attacks, if it is successful, automatically it did try to attack you. It missed. Gotcha. But it's a big frog thing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> But now, if it succeeds in attacking you, it also grapples and restrains you. I'll be right back really quick while Luke's gone. Yes. Speaking of, I feel like at some point we should try to get this uh, Go Piss Luke graphic for Saturday. And at any point when he is like, oh, I need to step off to the table to go take a leak, we just kind of shuffle that in frame oh hey from all that totally legally obtained printer paper right <laughs> where where would you have not legally obtained 
Full disclosure, I illegally obtained this paper. That is a joke for all intents and purposes. <laughs> all right, I'm back, guys. <laughs> what are we talking about paper? Look at all the opens. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, okay. Um, start of the round. Gordy, you are up. What do we got? Okay, so plus the extra attack. So, oh, for clarification. So the slod has to target Riku. It attacks until it misses. Um... And its intelligence is buffed. And he, it's... And didn't he get the one with the... Or is that the Star Spangled Mangler that Star Spangled restrains? Mangler um, automatically grapples and restrains, yes. I thought and that was the frog. No, it's the Star Spangled Mangler. And it, uh, ha, the Star Spangled Mangler has the retaliation attack as well. Oh, that's the other thing it had. Okay, I couldn't remember yeah. it. Yeah. No, it had something else. The Star Spangled Mangler. I love that we fully resigned to just calling him the most patriotic monster in all of D&D. &D. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, God. All right, Gordy, what you got? <laughs> I'm punching the frog a shit ton. Okay. Uh, so, Staff of Insatiable Hunger three times. Ooh, 12 is a miss. Not ideal. Okay. Well, no, 13 not. is a miss. Oh, no. This is not good. <laughs> This is the duality of halflings. 27 for 6 will hit. Sick. And I'm going to spend a key point to uh, pop pop him. Okay, two more on arm strikes. Yeah. 17 hits for 10. Okay, going to do another one. 12 is a miss. The 17 for 10. Can I make it a stunning strike as well? Absolutely. If you get the and key points, you can... because of the, sorry, crusher feet, he will be pushed back. Uh, actually, what's his size? He is considered large, I think. Any yeah, he's impact? he large. We're the Provided biggest. Target is no more than one size larger than you. So he's he one. He's size not larger than you. He's not yeah, larger. You're, you're small. No. Oh, well, I... you guys are enlarged. Yeah. Yeah, we're enlarged yeah, now. You can push him back if you want. I'm going to push him back, and I'm going to stunning strike him. So, okay. DC 15, please. Constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. He's okay. That dick. On the save! Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, that will be Gordy's full turn. Alrighty. Fartbuckle is going to go ahead and hit him with a shatter. Fartbuckle. Oh <laughs> Fartbuckle the goblin hero! Fartbuckle from the top rope. <laughs> Alright, the uh, slot's going to make a con save at advantage, he saves, he's going to take half damage for 5. The adult oblex constitution saving throw is a natural 1, that's another 20 bucks for same you. And he's going to take the full 10. Alrighty, that's it for fart buckle, that'll bring us to Onka. Onka, you are grappled by the bigger mimic. Oh yeah, so I can't use that bonus thingy from the sword. No, what you can cannot I move. Do? Your movement is zero. <laughs> so technically I can use it, I just don't have movement. I don't have a movement speed right now. Correct. Meaning that the only person in range would be the Mimic. Correct. I can still do throw attacks, right? You could do throw attacks, but they'd be at disadvantage because the Mimic right, we're is... Just, we're just going to beat the shit out of the Mimic then. Okay. You've, con you've convinced me. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could get like my first attack up on the frog again, and it's like, oh, I'm just not wasting efficiency if I don't just turn and go. Reckless, because I don't like when these dudes try to hug on me and stuff. Okay. And about that life. <laughs> Twenty-four for twenty-four is gonna hit. For twenty Plus... that's a that's a kill. Yes. Don't yeah, grab even, me. I even if I halved it, he would have been dead. Yeah, the the panic shift. I held on for it too long. Okay. Um. Now we're gonna use the active bonus action thing from the scimitar, the slashing winds. Okay. To dash in here. And get a scimitar attack on that guy, Reckless. The frog? <clears throat> Froggy it is. Okay. 23 for 14. 14. 
plus three is 17. Yep. Plus 3d4. God dang. Six. Okay. Well, <laughs> how I got a max roll and two min rolls. <laughs> Um, all right, and then we are going to use our second regular attack. Um, let's go with this guy here. Okay. Wow. 15? 15 is going to hit for 30. Yep. 30 damage, that's a kill. Nice. Oh my I God. haven't moved to this turn. Onka, Onka Solos? Onka Solos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a we got a ten dollar donation from Melvin Winky Face for a triple A triple R on the slot again. I didn't do that. <laughs> that was not me. Is there fraud happening in our wholesome community <laughs> fundraising event? Um, judging, by, judging by the laughter on that side of the room, I think there might be. <laughs> all right. Happening right, right now, a 60 on the slot. The creature flashes bright light in a blinding... The creature flashes in a bright blinding light. Creatures within 30 feet must succeed on a DC 20 wisdom saving throw or be blinded oh, for one minute. So, I need all y'all to make me a DC 20 wisdom saving throw. Oh, good lord. You said wisdom, right? Yep. Oh, everyone's making the wisdom? Everybody, because you're all within 30 feet. Even my crows? <laughs> Even the crows. Not the crows. Oh, that's con, not wisdom. Clicked on the wrong thing, sorry. Wow, they rolled low too. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so everybody's blinded except for Gordy. Wait, way to go, Gordy. <laughs> Guys, I can't right. see. Um, okay, I believe you still have one weapon attack on your trip. I do. So what does blind do? It just makes everything disadvantage? Yep, but you're already reckless, so it'll be a straight roll. Awesome. Uh... What are the rules on this guy's reaction? He can't take an attack of opportunity because I'm not Riku, right? Um. Yeah, because he has to target. Yeah. Well, I'd say he'd get an attack of opportunity. He'd get an I attack of say, opportunity. That's, that's, you... that's I could I could make an argument because it's like an opportunity to attack. Like. Right. He's. he's... It's like he's not making a choice. I'm the only choice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to attack this guy then, so people stop a r r r r r ring. I'm going to use my... I don't know where it went. I don't know why it's unattuned, but it shouldn't be. I thought I still had this. Where's the amulet? The clockwork amulet to take the 10? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I was attuned. Oh, I don't need to be attuned to that. What am I missing attunement on? Oh, I see what it is. That's why my health changed. My attunement for the antler fell off. I was struggling to figure out where. Ooh, donation. Ooh. Tea Leaf Apparel. Hey, everyone. Ted here from the Tea Leaf Apparel. I would like to thank everyone who has purchased that lovely Marigold merch lately. We are taking the opportunity to add enough earnings in our current earnings into the drive. So guys, we've reached $170 just from merch sales. That's bringing our grand total up to $1,975. The cooking Ooh. stream is $25 away. $25 just away. Saying. Could be fun. They might serve it to friends. All right, are we good? No, I we I are, I we are, are yeah, anything. continue, yeah. continue. <clears throat> so you want to take the 10 on the next attack roll? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's going to be the Nightmare Blade Arrest, so it's an automatic 22. Alrighty, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> uh, so that's 20. Plus the 3d4. Oh, there we go. 31. That's a kill. Let's go. All right. Pentakill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Don't, don't go solos. We didn't even need to be here. <laughs> That's my turn. Alrighty, the uh, Mimic is gone, the Oddplex is gone, the Slot is gone, the Star Spangled Mangler is not going down <laughs> out of fight. Um, he gets a roll, uh, he gets a recharge roll. He does not recharge, so he's going to get two attacks on Gordy. The first one is a 19. Uh... That will hit. Okay, so that's 10 points of slashing, and you are automatically grappled and restrained. Hold on. I'm gonna absorb five of that. All right, so five points of damage. And so grappled and restrained. All righty. Um, we got multiple <laughs> donations coming in, guys. Oh $10 on the last man standing. Fire the triple A, triple R on the Star Spangled Mangler. Um, 75 can we get a long shot to turn this around for the bad guys oh my god maybe and the cooking stream is unlocked and... Alrighty. um the creatures attacks paralyze grapple and strain i will i will make that saving throw now okay uh so it's wisdom wisdom saving throw yep I'm so wise in my ways. We also have a $25 donation for, today. <laughs> for the uh, the long rest thing. Not that I don't think they're going to need it, but that's another, uh, it's a long rest token for you guys. Um, Gordy, you are grappled, restrained, and paralyzed. It is going to make one more attack at you at advantage, right, which is an automatic forward. crit. So that's going to be an extra 46. So that's going to be... 15 plus 17 is 32 damage on that attack. Good lord. Oh. Okay. Why is my calculator the size of my whole screen? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, that's going to bring us to Riku. Can you finish it off? I'm using my bonus action to move my hex. Yep. And then I am... I can't see nothing because I'm blind. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Hello? Oh no! Sniper monkey. Are we good now? Uh, the, the camera stuff is all... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I moved That's okay. Over there. I think yeah, Discord had a little oopsie daisy. Yeah, I froze. I think that was a Discord thing. I think it was Discord. Okay. I thought it was me for a second, because I saw the stream doing it too. No, Me too. I, I was like, oh, I think Luke broke. And I was like, wait. I think I broke. Definitely Discord, everybody. <laughs> it's definitely Discord. It's Discord. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say two, the patriotism gonna say is too strong. <laughs> I'm gonna say one thing real quick. I opened my calculator app on my computer to do all that, and it immediately froze everything on my end. So to me, my calculator just broke my end of things. It's the Star Spangled Mangler. It's Mangler, he's breaking the fourth wall. All right, Riku. While we got you, while we have this board working, um, Eldritch Blast. For 16, that's a hit on this guy for two force, plus the 1d6. I have disadvantage though, don't I, because of the... You're blind, blind. you're right, you're right, you're right. Yep. yep. Uh, so, I only have one attack, right? There was no... Oh, you have an extra. No, you have one extra. Oh, you have one extra. Okay. Yep. 
Oh my god, I can't hit nothing. <laughs> That's a mess. I can't see. All right, at the end of your turn, you can repeat the wisdom saving throw against the blind. Uh, um... uh, wisdom's done. Uh, I don't think I saved on that, right? Nope. All right, well, I'm going to have to move on to my crows now. All righty. I'm going to move them up here, and then they're going to... They're All right, we get another $10 in. from Sanryu. You know what we need. One more triple A, triple R on that star spangle. Oh, good lord. <laughs> He's so patriotic. So patriotic. Oh my god, this could turn this around. This could turn this around. He gains frightful presence. <laughs> what does frightful presence do? Um... He can, as as part of his attack, he can um, force creatures to make a DC 20 wisdom saving throw become frightened for him. Oh my god. Oh, Stack in the debuffs. Yeah. Jesus. The crows. I don't think I got a single word of that. I think that. Uh, I'm going for um, a robot on my end. Yeah, I, I don't think the crows hit start this way. So. No. All right, that's gonna bring us to Gordy. Okay. Good. Gordy is. You are grappled and, and restrained oh, and paralyzed. Yes. So at the end of your turn, you can make a wisdom saving throw. DC 15, try to get a paralysis. Okay. Gordy will have to do that. All right. Thank you. Okay. Discord is exploding right now. <laughs> it keeps saying, saying Star Spangled. <laughs> okay. Um, that's gonna bring us to Fart Buckle. Who's gonna make two attacks? Both are gonna hit for fourteen total. Um, it is gonna make a retaliatory. No, it's gonna save its retaliation attack. Who are we kidding? That's gonna bring us to Onka. I'm blind. You. Okay. I'm gonna. Attempt. Our buckle is blind, but both of them would still hit because they're both 19s, even at disadvantage. Because Fart Buckle is fucking goaded. Let's yeah, go. I'm saying um, I'm blind. You are still blind, so you can go ahead and take your turn. I'm gonna go and do the scimitars thingy for my bonus action. Okay. And we are going to quickly stumble our way toward the book. Or the, I don't know why I think it's a book because it's a star. Like I don't know because you made words the icon. I think I'm looking at a book. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna get a scimitar of the slashing winds. We're gonna go recklessly because we're blind okay, and have so no idea what's going on. It's a straight roll. Straight roll. <sighs> oh, 25. 25 or hits. Nine plus three 12. is twelve. Plus the three d four. Twenty-two. Be damage. Okay. Uh, as a reaction, it's going to make an attack against you at advantage. Okay. Which is going to be a 19. Oh, that meets. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 10 slashing Wait, half on. to Why 5. My armor... Oh, I see. Hold on. Give me one second. Yeah, it, it meets. Okay, so that's going to be 10 points total. You are grappled and restrained. And I need a, a DC 15 wisdom saving throw against paralysis. No. Alright, so you are paralyzed. This thing might turn the fucking encounter around, dude. This thing's got crazy debuffs. Okay, and at the end of my turn, I can try to become unblind? You can try to become unblind and unparalyzed, so I need two wisdom saving throws. We'll do the blindness first. I am? So still blind, and then another one for paralysis. Ooh. 
close. Still paralyzed. Okay. That's going to bring it to his turn. Oh, and I have to I have to do the curse. Yep. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Crit. All right. He does not regain his uh, flurry ability. However, he's going to unleash two attacks at advantage against Onka. The first claw attack is going to be a 23. Okay. And that's an automatic crit because you're paralyzed. So that's going to be 17 half to 8 points of slashing damage plus 14 of psychic. Right. Eight, so 22 damage on the first attack. And the second attack is a miss. And that's going to bring us to Riku. I cast Magic Missile. Okay. <laughs> uh, wild, wild magic. Wild magic. We do get wild magic. They give me three of those. Judge. Judge. The 12 points. And the hex. Plus the hex. Plus four. Okay. He literally has one fucking hit point right now. <laughs> um, Go ahead and roll wild magic. 98. Oh, you're right. Fear, fearful presence. So yeah. technically, they would all still be at disadvantage because they're all still blind or grappled. Or you're right. You're. I did forget it, but I don't think it's gonna matter here. Um, 98 on wild magic. You are surrounded by faint ethereal music for the next minute. I have my own my own music. <laughs> uh, and then that would be it for. Well, my turn, then the crows will go. Yep, so the crows can still uh, attack. So you can make another wisdom saving throw. Oh, yeah. I have, I have an idea, team, after his crows go. Okay. Now there's my wisdom saving throw. Okay, you are no longer blinded. And then here's my crows, too. Okay, crows are still blind. Okay. What if we, uh, what if we long rest? If you long rest, the debuffs do still... Actually, no, the debuffs would clear on a long rest. I was going to say, the debuffs... The paralysis is only a minute. So we'd all at least get a chance to attack him. Coming back. I mean, might as well use it. Yeah, smoke him if you got him. Yeah. And we got a $30 donation from Mr. WeeWoo saying, Get him, lads, with the extra attacks. Three extra attacks. Three, Three extra, extra attacks, attacks. yes. So, at the top of the round, Gordy, long rested, cleared of all debuffs, with five attacks. Can you seven. deal Can you deal a single point of damage? <laughs> make, it, make it seven attacks. Go for Surely it. Surely one of these will get through. This there time. it is, right there. There it is. Alrighty. And with that, oh. Team D... Has cleared the encounter. I could have waited till after Gordy went so I could have got the kill. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, kidding. I stole the ace from you. I, so I'm, not, I'm not worried. About, <laughs> I'm really not worried about it. I, I didn't go Alrighty. into this going for the ace and I didn't care about it at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, we have concluded round two of Build a Boss. That was a blast. Tonight, we have raised over $500 for Same You, not including all the natural ones that I've been ta keeping track of. We've unlocked our cooking stream officially. Wee-Woo has been snapping me some delicious looking halfling meals. I'm super excited for it. Um, that was a blast. Thank you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed flipping this game on its, on its head a little bit and buffing the party instead. I have some ideas for round three I will be posting in the Discord, so stay tuned. Um, next urgent thing, Saturday. Starting at 3 p.m. Eastern, the Urban Food Brood live event. We are going to be live on site playing D&D at an actual table with actual minis and actual dice for the first time ever in the history of this place that we call the Tealift Adventuring Company. Uh, if you're local and you can make it, please come support. If you're not local, hop in on stream, say hi. It all counts, and uh, we're going to be doing some amazing things there. Um can I talk about some of the things we're going to also be doing there to our locals? Yes, 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 yes. Go for it. Absolutely. So 
I think right now we have set up, if you go to buy a drink at Urban Food Brewed while we're there, uh, there is a chance to roll a d20 and yeah. get some dices, which is going to be pretty fucking cool. Um, there is also a door raffle prize, which is going to be, you know, hey, you showed up. Here's this starter kit for D&D that's way more fun than the original starter kit, uh, courtesy of Mr. Wee Woo. Um, and then there's also a 50-50 raffle, for those who don't know. Half of all funds put in towards that raffle are going to go right back to you if you win it. So come on in, throw some money, and if not, the rest of that 50-50 is going to go towards Samu. Awesome stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of work and a lot of love going into making this happen. Um, I do definitely want to give a big shout out to everybody involved um, making this happen. Everyone who's designed graphics, who's worked painlessly to set up the tech side of things, uh, sent out emails, coordinated meetings. Um, it's been it's been a Herculean effort, and it does not go unappreciated. And hopefully, we have a super super big awesome turnout, guys. So fingers crossed. I'm a little bit nervous, uh, but looking forward to it we will see you saturday uh stay tuned have a lovely weekend let's go give Pe pezlek some love